Hello, thank you for joining me. We're just going to look at the newest railway station in England. It's called Horden. It opened last year. It's just here. So I'm going to park the car and we're going to go and have a look, see what we can find at England's newest railway station. So here we are outside Horden Station. Opened on the 29th of June 2020. So it's still, at the time of filming, less than a year old. There was an original station at Horden, which um, opened in 1905, but it closed in 1964. But since then, up the road, a town, Peter Lee, has grown up. I did make another video there on a rather interesting pavilion, so have a look at the link on screen if you want to see that. So Peter Lee was one of the largest towns in Britain without a railway station, and the railway doesn't actually pass through Peter Lee. So they reopened Horden Station here in County Durham with a free car park, so that's quite good. I did think about getting a train into Newcastle, but I've been at the Tanfield Railway earlier today and um, I spent a lot longer chasing the steam engine. I went for a really nice walk, um, that's another video. Uh, so I've, I've got here a bit later, so I, um, I've decided to not get the train, but I couldn't um, not be in the area and not visit the newest railway station in the UK. So just got to put my face covering on, then we can go and have a look on the platforms. So let's have a look at England's newest railway station. So it's um, unstaffed. There is a ticket machine just there. That way is looking towards Newcastle, and that way is looking down towards Hartlepool and um, Stockton on Tees, etc. Uh, so Bigfoot Bridge. It's got ramps as well. We've got up the ramp for fun. But I've just noticed something interesting. They've got these here. These are. Uh, embossed and um, you might be able to see on top there's there's braille so it helps blind and partially sighted people to navigate their way around the station in fact i think that's what all this uh, tactile here is for so they can effectively plan a route here is the accessible entrance to the station what i'm thinking is as well as obviously providing the very useful um, function that it makes the station accessible for all it might um if a steam drain or something was to come through provide an interesting vantage point, although I don't actually think any steam trains can come through here because further up the line they run share tracks with the Tyne and Weir Metro. Sorry I am looking silhouetted, maybe that's better. They share tracks with the Tyne and Weir Metro and I think the wires Okay, so the train was late from the depot, so it's late. Anyway, uh, what happens here then? Oh, I see there's a, uh, I think that's just a fire exit, those steps down to the platform. So, as I was saying, um, yeah, this would make quite a good vantage point if a steam train was to come through. But the problem is I don't think a steam train will come through because further up, the railways um, of the Tynaware Metro and Network Rail share the same tracks. And the wires on the Tynaware Metro are about two inches lower or I'm not sure if they are to it, they're lower anyway. And steam is not permitted to run under them. I know they wanted to do a tour of the K1, K1 um, 62005, and they weren't allowed to run this route, which is a real shame because further up it runs along by the coast. As, um, well, I can already see the sea over there, so it's got some really nice views, this railway station. So that's a real shame that, as far as I'm aware, it may have changed, but I don't think a steam train has been through here for quite some time. If you know when the last time a steam train came through here, please do comment and tell me. But um, sort of trains that can come through here are trains like, you know, 158s, 156s, as we can see now. So this train, I think it's going to Metro Centre. So let's go down, have a look. 158488. Eight. We're going to be able to go down and see it. Depart. There is another one going to Middlesbrough due imminently. Oh, actually, no, that one's really cool. That's the one that's late because of um, it was late out of the depot. But we can watch this one depart. So here we are. Here is um, Pass 156 heading north. So as I said, I did think about catching the train, but it's already quite late in the day. If I went into Newcastle, um, it'd be a, a late trip back. So we'll, we're going to watch this train depart. And um, then what I'm going to do, we'll go for a walk around the other side of the station. I, I don't think there's another way out, but we'll 
I'll establish that soon, as soon as the train is gone. One thing I did notice up on the bridge was um, it was too high, you can't actually see over the bridge, which is a bit of a shame. But like I said, you've got, they make, um, the ramps make like a ride. Well, this is what the train does. five six departs. I was going to hang around for the next train, the one that's going to Middlesbrough, but it's late, um, so I won't, I'm not going to hang around. I'm going to have to jump back in the car and um, go and get something to eat, I think. A face covering must be used at all times. So it doesn't but look like the there is um, a back entrance to this station. I'd also be interested to know, admittedly this was a quite a, a quick video where the original station was um i didn't have enough time to research i just realized i was in the air and thought right let's go there let's go and visit the nearest railway station in england talking of um the reason i keep saying it's the nearest railway station in england that's true it's not the nearest railway station in great britain because since then kintour has opened up in scotland and bow street has opened in wales bow street's near aberystwyth kintour is on the railway line from Inverness to Aberdeen. So um, they're a little bit further away. So I don't know if I'm gonna be going there anytime soon. Okay, so we get to here. This is the southern end of the platform. The railway curves off up there. This, so there's like another fire exit here. It's already open. So as soon as it's open, I'm gonna go out this way. Um, I wouldn't have gone this way if it wasn't open. Um, so it's interesting, it says do not obstruct access from the fire exit. Well, we're not going to obstruct. We're just going to look at the view of the sea. It's, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so that, that takes me back down onto the platform. We're going to go up this long ramp here. And, uh, yeah, so it's, it's a nice view from a railway station. Not many railway stations do you get quite that view out over the sea. So um, maybe if you were to get, well, I'm pretty sure if you were to get the train along this line, you would have nice views out over the sea so it's pretty quite a scenic railway to go on um as i said it's a bit of track i've not done before i did want to make a video about all what i call track bashing that's traveling on railways basically that you haven't been on for for fun so if i was to do this line it'd be winning track but this is a winning station it's gonna look funny though on my map because it's gonna be highlighted that i visited this station and of course this station is just drawn on my railway atlas i had to draw it on last year when it reopened or opened um, because of course it wasn't on there so I'm going to be able to highlight it when I get home so I'm excited about that that is a really nice view out over the, allot the allotments here fields and the sea in the background there's some more of these um, as I was saying about these for partially sighted people so you can see it's a platform one ramp and um, there is there's braille Braille writing, which um, so it's, it's a quite friendly, you know, everyone can find their way around the station without a problem. So I'm going to um, that, that bridge is probably I can see someone walking over that older bridge in the distance. That would be quite a good bridge to go and watch trains. But as I said, I'm going to go get back in my larder and um, drive off and find something to eat. So you can see the village of Horden over there. You can just see the church in the middle of the skyline. Peterlee is a mile or so in that direction. So, um, from on the footbridge in the newest railway station of England, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And um, let's just have one last look over the sea. I'm gonna say from the newest railway station, it's also one of a few stations that has a view over the sea. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.